Hello, receiving students, teachers, and sixes. Thank you. You may take your seats. Okay, in your last lesson with Mr. Kwarogi, you have looked at two experiments. One, the skewer and the balloon, and the second experiment, you are looking at the paper ball, or the two paper balls. Okay, as you can see, I have two paper balls here. On my left end, I'm only on to a black paper ball, and this is a white paper ball. Okay, I will drop the two paper balls, and I want you to observe very carefully. Okay, one, two, three. Did you all see the balls bouncing on the floor? No? Okay, F students at the back, you can stand up. You can stand up. Okay, we'll do this again. We will do this again. Class, receiving students. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, six is. Can anyone tell me what happened to the black or the uh, black colored ball? Vanessa? It didn't bounce. It did not bounce. Very good. Any more? Receiving students, you can also tell your teacher. Okay, how about the white ball? The white ball? Robert? It bounced. It bounced, okay, very good. Robert, can you tell me why? Why did this ball bounce on the floor? Because the other one has a stone inside it. The other one does not have any stone. It's okay, like this paper ball with the black colored S? Stone inside. Okay, as a stone or have stones in it, okay? Whereas this one? No, no stone in it, that's why it bounced. It has no? Have any stones. It has no stones in it, okay, very good. Okay, now let's find out. I will use a scissors to cut out these two paper balls that I have here and we'll see. We'll see if Robert's answer is correct. Okay, as you can see, this paper ball here, it is filled up with papers. Okay, that's why, that's why it bounced. Okay, very good. Okay, let's check this one. Okay, this paper ball here has sand in it. That's why it did not bounce, but it, it just rolled, okay? Okay, very good. Now let's move on. Do you want to hear a riddle? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. Okay, the riddle is titled 
the farmer. Okay, a farmer lives on the other side of the river and he made his garden on the other side of the river. And one morning he decided to go to his garden. And with him he had a dog, a chicken, and a bowl of rice. But the problem is that the canoe can only carry two things, only two things. That's the farmer and one of the th things that I've mentioned. Huh? Whether it be a chicken, a dog, or a bowl of rice. But we have to also consider, okay, I'll give you some hints. We have to also consider that If the farmer, are we listening? Six is. If the farmer wants to take take uh, the dog on the first trip to the other side of the river, then what will happen to the rice? Because the chicken and the rice are on the other side. What will happen? The chicken will eat the rice. So we have here that okay, chicken, rice, and dog. Okay, so this is the river. And this is the Canoe. Okay, so we said that if the farmer happens to take take the dog on his first trip to the other side of the river, then the chicken will eat the rice. So this is a hint that I'm giving uh, giving you. So can anyone tell me? I want you to find ways on how we can solve this riddle. I'll give you only one minute, one minute because we don't have enough time. We have to move on. Yes, Madhu? Okay, six is. Madhu? He'll take the chicken over first. He'll come back, get the dog, go and take the chicken, chicken back, and get the rice over, come back and get the chicken over. Very good. Madhu, can you come to the front and explain to the students? Thank you, Madhu. Okay, I want all of you to listen very carefully, please. He'll take the chicken over first and he'll bring the, uh, he'll come back to get the dog go over, bring the chicken, chicken back to the other side and get the rice, bring it over and come back get the chicken again. Very good. Give Madhu three big claps. Okay, Madhu said that on the first trip, the farmer will take the, take the, so you're telling me that you did not listen, huh? On the first trip, the farmer will take the chicken. 
we'll take the chicken to the other side. Okay, that's the first trip. We'll take the chicken to the other side, okay, to the garden. And then he will come back and then get the get the dog. Get the dog. That's the second trip now, huh? Get the dog and take take it to the other side of the river. After that, the farmer will will get the or take the rice with him to the other side of the river again. Then what will the farmer do? The farmer will. Okay, the second trip we said that the farmer will take the. On the first trip, what did we say? The farmer will take the chicken to the other side. On the second trip, the dog. Are we correct? Okay. What will be the third trip? What will the farmer do? He will take the chicken back to the other side of the river, okay? And then he will get the rice and take it to the other side of the river, to the garden. And then he will come back and take the chicken to the garden. So now all of the things are safe. Okay, the chicken, the dog, and the rice. Okay, let's move on. Is that okay? Okay, our topic for today's lesson is help is needed. And we are looking at the same strand and the, we are still looking at the same strand and the learning outcome. Okay, now let's move on to our main activity. Okay, this time you will work in groups. Okay, I'll give you charts. I will give, there will be three situations or problems that you will have to solve. Like what we did with our warm up uh, activity with the riddle. In our main activity, we will, I will give you three main, uh, three situations or problems, and you will have to look for ways, ways to solve these problems. So you will work in groups. Okay, I want you to write the topic, write the topic on top of the, on the top of your chart. I sit down. Okay, receiving students and teachers. Sixes, are we listening? Thank you. Receiving teachers, you can group your class into groups. In this model class, we have nine, total of nine groups. So you can group your students into groups and they can do the activity. Okay, so on the top of the chart, you write the topic. What is our topic? 
Help is needed. Okay, you write the topic down. Group one, two, and three. Group one, two, and three, you will do activity one, or uh, situation A. Okay. Group one, two, and three, you will do situation A. Group one, two, and, uh, one, two, and three, okay. Look in front. It says moving the heavy box onto the truck and discuss how you can move the box onto the back of the truck. So you will discuss among your group members and you will try to find ways in which you can move the heavy box onto the back of the truck. That's for group one, two, and three, situation A. So group one, two, and three, you should have a scriber or a writer write the instruction down in your excess book or on a piece of paper. That's for group one, two, and three only. Are we listening? Group one, two, and three only. That's their activity. So one student in each of the groups, please write the instruction down. Okay. <clears throat> okay, for group four, five, and six, group four, five, and six, you will look at situation B. Situation B, opening A, can fish. So you will discuss among your group members on how you can open A, can fish. Group four, five, and six, that's your activity. Situation B, opening a can fish. You discuss among your group members and you look for ways on how you can open a can fish. So write it down on a piece of paper. Then you can write the instruction on the chart. Okay, for group, for group seven, eight, and nine, you have the next situation there, situation C. Situation C, the instruction says, picking and moving odd stones from a mumu pit. So you will have to discuss among your group members and try to look for ways on how you can pick and move Odd stones from a mumu pit. That's for group group seven, eight, and nine. the situation down and then I want to
Okay, group groups. Are we listening? Group seven, eight, and nine. You look for ways, sir, on how you can move the pick and move the old stones from the mumu pit, huh? Time you time all islands people are clear. Time you place a mumu, time you place a rusty stone. What do you use? What do you use? You use spade? No, 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 no. You use spade to remove that old stones, huh? From the mumu pit. Oh, sticks. And what else? Tongs, tongs, very good. Tongs, whether it would be wood, uh, yeah, wooden or bamboo, yeah, for the tongs. Okay, so hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, for you group, four, five, six, yours is on. Receiving students for situation A. Sit situation A, you have to think of some of the ways on how you can move the heavy box onto the back of the truck. And for situation B, you have to discuss among your group members and Think of ways on how you can open a canned fish. And for situation C, picking and moving 
hot stones from a mumu pit. So you have to think of some ways on how you can pick and move hot stones from the mumu pit. Which group has already completed the uh, activity? Like I said, you only write down the answers. You write situation A, B, or C, and you write down the answers.
Okay, I think Group 9 has already completed the activity. Group 9, Group 9 group members, uh, may one of you come to the front and present your uh, the things that uh, you wrote on the chat. Okay, thank you, Christine. Class, sixes, look in front. Christine will present. Present to you some of the ways that uh, they have come up with on how to solve, solve situation C. So we will look at the, at the answers. Okay, this is what uh, Christine and her group has. Christine? Has done during the group, di uh, group discussions. Okay, situation C, it says picking and moving odd stones from a mumu pit. So, Christine, can you tell us what your, uh, you and your group have written down? These are, some, these are some things that they use to remove mumu's pit, uh, stones from my mumu pit. Spade, big fork, mumu, uh, bamboo, thorn, banana leaf, and big stick. Thank you, Christine and your group. Give them three big claps. Okay. So for situation C, situation C, Picking and moving odd stones from a move pit. These are some of the ways that you can use to pick and move odd stones from a mumu pit. You have spade, big fork, big sticks, bamboo tong, and banana leaf. Very good. Okay, now let's move on. Let's look at, let's move on to group. Six, group six, situation B, group six, opening a canned fish, okay, let's, uh, group five, let's have group five, Vanessa's group, thank you, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa and her group uh, have uh, done situation B, opening A, can fish. We can use a tin opener to open a tin fish. We can use a knife to open a tin fish. And some of us, we use an automatic opener to open a tin fish. Very good, thank you Vanessa. Give her three big claps. Okay, so these are some of the ways in which we can open a can fish, we can use a tin opener, a kitchen knife, or a automatic tin opener. Very good, let's move on. Let's look at situation A, group number three. Situation number A, open the trailer, call someone to help me to carry the heavy box into the truck. Okay, very good. So, okay, for uh, group three has written a set of instructions here on how they can move the heavy box onto the back of the truck. So they said that first thing that they have to do, they have to open the trailer and then they'll call someone to help, uh, maybe a friend, to carry the 
heavy box onto the back of the truck. Okay, so very good. Thank you, class, for all your answers. Okay, here I have some of the uh, answers with me. For situation A, we have the answer there. Maybe you can help a friend to carry the box onto the back of the truck. That's for situation A. Situation B, like we have already said, we can use a knife, a kitchen knife to op open a can of fish. And for situation C, we can use a spade to remove odd stones from the momo pit. Very good. Okay, class, for our summary, in order to find ways to simple problems in some daily activities, we have to remember these three skills. Class number one, bullet point number one. Make judgments of the situation. And bullet point number two, consider materials to use. And the last bullet point there, select the right material to be used. So these are the three skills that you should have in order to find ways to solve simple problems. And our key phrase, thinking scientifically. That's our key phrase. And our next lesson topic will be on the animals around us and for the receiving teachers and students, the materials that you will be using tomorrow. For your next lesson, you have the charts. You should have the charts, pictures of animals, markers, and students' workbooks. With that, thank you for your, thank you sixes and receiving students for your participation. Oh, Mr. Rambo.